Hello Android users, great news. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use Twerp on your Android device to flash ROMs, GFs package, and any type of flashable .zip file on your Android device. Note you will need to be previously rooted before installing this. Now you may be wondering, well, how do I get Twerp onto my device? Well, if you have a rooted device, you can use the Goo Manager. It's a free application you get from the Google Play Store. Simply open it up for the first time and we'll get Twerp installed for you. To install it, select the three dots in the upper right-hand corner and go to Install Open Recovery Script. This will automatically detect the version of Twerp that is compatible with your device. Select Yes. Here's the version for my device and select yes to begin the download. It will automatically download this file and install it for you. Just wait for the process and be patient. Now the file is downloaded. You'll see a little notification up there and then it'll pop up and install the recovery image for you. Once complete, it notifies you that it was installed correctly. Now we're ready to go to twerp. Now there's a few different ways that we can get to twerp. Depending on our device, we can either click Reboot Recovery, which is a button right here, which will take us directly to our recovery. So if your device doesn't go straight to recovery by clicking Reboot Recovery here, reboot the device, hold down Power, Home, and Volume Up simultaneously until you see the boot screen logo, release them, and you should go right into recovery. Subsequently, this should work for you to get straight there. Here we are in Twerp Recovery. We're gonna show you how to install zips and upgrade your ROMs, but first a little word to the wise, always make a backup. You can go to the backup menu here. Now a backup is a very important thing to have. A backup will completely back up all your applications, your system setup, and your personal information. It will not back up your media, i.e your MP3s and your videos, but it will back up your Android operating system. So if you have any problem after upgrading, you can simply restore this backup and get it exactly how it was before. It's a really important safety net to have in place before flashing files. Here we go, let's make a backup. All we have to do is swipe to the right hand side here. Make sure you have lots of space on the device and a good battery charge before starting this. Let's make a backup. Now that we've made our backup, we can restore it at any time by going to the Restore menu. Here it is in the list. We simply need to select it here and swipe to the right and it will be fully restored. Everything will be back to the way it is. Now that we're all safely backed up, we're ready to install Zips. Here on the right hand side, we can navigate our device by going through the various folders. You can download the files you need directly to the device or download them to your PC and transfer them over with the USB cable. If you transfer them with the USB cable, they'll end up in what's called your root directory, the space that opens up when you plug in that USB cable and transfer files out. It'll be in the open space with all your other apps and files. Now, if you downloaded it directly to the device, it'll end up in this folder by default, the download folder. I have the files in both places for simplicity's sake. Now. If you want to upgrade your version of Android or upgrade your ROM, you want to flash both the ROM and the GApps package. If you've, say, already installed Android and you can't find things like the Play Store or Google+, Plus, then you want to flash just the GApps package. Now we can combine them and flash them both at once if we want. I'll show you how to do that. We simply select the one we want to flash, and we can go Add More Zips and we can select the GApps package and the ROM. So now we have two out of a max of 10 possible zips to flash. And all we have to do is swipe to the right and both of these zips will be installed on our Android device. There we go to start the procedure. Now you can install any kind of flashable zip like this, as long as you have that all important backup made so you can get back at any point. Now you'll note we've started our second flashable zip It'll indicate here. Now we've completed installing both our ROM and our GApps package. An important final step would be to wipe our cache and our Delvic cache. This should be done anytime a ROM and a GApps package is installed. If you installed just a regular flashable zip, you can skip this step. 
But after flashing a ROM in G-Apps, this is a very important step to make sure you don't have problems after booting up. It's very quick, it's already done. We go back and we're ready to reboot our system. Congratulations, you have successfully upgraded your ROM and GApps package. You can flash any zip using this particular method. If you have problems after completing this action, you can always go back and restore that ever important backup. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with Android and like the video. Thanks for watching everybody.